Welcome to the Monday Must Knows for the week of October 25th. Bienvenidos a lo que deben de saber sobre todo lo que tenemos la semana del 25 de octubre. This coming week we have a lot of activities, so pay close attention. Let's start with our quote of the week. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Let me repeat that. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted wasted. No matter how big or how small, when your actions are with kindness, it means that it never goes wasted because people notice, people feel good when others are kind. Remember that. And since we're talking about kindness, on the Google Slides that I've shared with your teachers, there is a video read aloud on kindness. Have you filled a bucket today? What does it mean to fill someone's bucket? What does it mean to help someone and be kind to others so that their bucket gets filled? Friendship Club. And this is for the fourth through sixth grade students. Miss Gray and Mrs. Perez are starting a club on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you'd like to join, please see Miss Gray and Mrs. Perez. On our Google slide, we have another video on growth mindset. This week, we're looking at our dragon skill, how to disagree appropriately. Remember that it's important to be appropriate with our words, even if you don't agree with someone. Last week, we worked on asking for permission. Remember the four steps. Reminders this week. Friday, October 29th is a minimum day and we dismiss at 1115. We have parent conferences coming up November 4th and 5th. We don't have school on those days. There's also no school on November 11th. Recordatorios. Tenemos día mínimo el 29 de octubre a las 11.15. Tenemos conferencias de padres el 4 y el 5 de noviembre. No hay escuela. Y tampoco no hay escuela el 11 de noviembre. Let your parents know that I'll be out having coffee with any of the parents that want to meet me on Thursday from 11.30 to 2 and on Friday from 8 to 11. Díganle a sus padres si quieren cafecito, estaré afuera tomando cafecito con padres el jueves de las 11 y media a las 2 y el viernes de las 8 a las 11. We have our Red Ribbon Week. Saying no to drugs is very important, and that's what we're learning this week with your teachers. So on Monday, the 25th, wear red. On Tuesday, the 26th, follow your dreams and wear pajamas. On Wednesday, the 27th, lay off the of drugs so you dress for luau, Hawaiian style or any kind of luau style that you want to dress up as. On Thursday, the 28th, get your game on by wearing your favorite team shirt. El lunes 25 nos vestimos en rojo. El martes 26 nos vestimos con nuestras pijamas. Miércoles 27 nos vestimos como si fuéramos a un luau hawaiano. El 28 jueves nos vestimos de nuestra camiseta de nuestro este equipo favorito. And on Friday, we get to celebrate Red Ribbon Week by wearing our character book, our book character. So if you want to dress up as your favorite character from a book, you're welcome to do that. Remember, no costume mask, no costume accessories, and no fake butt. So you can wear your costume and, of course, your safety mask. Reminders, be safe. Be respectful and be responsible. Remember to do the right thing even when nobody's watching. So if there isn't a supervisor close by you, continue to do the right thing even if they're not by you. If your teacher is not looking at you directly, continue to do the right thing even when nobody's watching. We'll continue to work on citizen. On citizenship, remember to be a good citizen by taking care of yourself, your school, your friends, and your family. Our focus for the week, lunchtime expectations. What is expected from a dragon here at Castleview? 
Remember to be respectful by using a voice level three. That means that we can talk to the people next to, to us, we can talk to the people across from us and in our table, but we are not to yell to another table. Remember to keep the voice level at three. That means you're able to talk with your friends. Just be respectful and mind the, the noise level because it gets a little loud under the pavilion in the court area. Remember to clean up after yourself and always stay in your space. Be responsible by eating your own food. Remember, we're not sharing. We love to share, but right now it's not a good time to share. Throw your trash in the trash can and use your proper manners when you're at your eating table. Remember to walk down the ramp when you're done eating lunch and always keep your hands to yourself. Keep all of your items in the tray. It is never a good idea to throw things to the trash can or just to simply throw food. So remember that for your lunchtime expectations. Here are the steps for disagreeing appropriately. Number one, look at the person. Number two, use a pleasant voice. Number three, tell why you feel differently. Number four, give a reason. And number five, listen to the person. So continue to look, listen, and be a good friend even when you disagree. Diferencia de opinión. Miren a la persona, usen una voz agradable, dígale por qué se siente de esa manera, da una razón y escucha a la persona. Recuerden mantener la mirada y siendo amigables con la respuesta. And I want you to continue to think before you speak. So before you think, before you speak, think. Is it kind? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it true? Remember, we all have opinions, but it's not always best to share what we think if it's going to hurt someone's feelings. If it's something mean, remember to think before you speak. We don't want to be hurting other people because it's important that people at school, our students, that students at school feel happy, feel safe. So remember, when you hurt someone's feelings because you have an opinion, it's best to keep those to ourselves. And just remember, would you want it said to you? Continue to review your dragon skills. And on our Google Slides, we have some mini lessons. How big is your problem? Determining how big your problem is can really help when dealing with your classmates or anything on the playground or in your classroom. And there's some more slides there on mindfulness and circle time for your teachers and your classroom. Have a great week and remember, you got this. We believe in you, I believe in you, believe in yourself because you can do amazing things when you put your mind to it.